Hello, Smoke here, and today I will be analyzing some picks from the Halo 4 campaign trailer that was released at E3. In this first pick, you can see Master Chief with two Spartans behind him, and to the right you can see what looks like a Marine. I think this is a Marine because his armor doesn't look like ODSTs, and it's far worse than the two Spartans and Master Chiefs. In this pick, it shows a vehicle that looks a lot like the Elephant from Halo 3, but maybe an updated version. And if you look at the front door, it looks like maybe the Warhog just had barely drove in out of it. If you look at the front seat, it looks like Master Chief is driving. And back on the turret, it looks like one of the Spartans is there. And if you look at the passenger seat, then it looks like the Marine. I think this might have been where Master Chief, the Spartan, and the Marine were in the first pick. In this pic, it shows Master Chief standing in front of a new vehicle. And if you look to the left of the vehicle, if you look at the arm, then it looks like there's a turret sticking out. So this vehicle looks pretty beast. And I really hope that we'll be able to drive it in the campaign to maybe kill some Covenant or Prometheums. In this pic, it shows the UNSC Infinity flying into the planet where Master Chief has crashed. In this pic, it shows that the UNSC Infinity has crashed off to the left, and it shows that some Covenant Banshees and Phantoms are flying down to the crash scene. And if you look in the background of the picture, then you can see the Promethean Ball that passed Chief earlier in the video. In this pic, it shows the Assault Rifle, it shows the Radar, and it shows the new armor ability, Promethean Vision. And it does confirm that there is Frag Grenades and Plasma Grenades in this game like we all expected. It also shows Master Chief killing one of the new Promethean Knights. And in this pic we get a look at the new enemy, the Promethean Knight. And if you look at his body you can see two little arms coming off of him. You can also see some rocks floating around him. And we also get a look at the new weapon, the light rifle which he's holding. So like and subscribe and comment on the video about what you think of the new enemy and what you think of the new gun and what you think of the picks and point out anything that I missed.